In this video, I'll show you how to determine an exponential relation from a table of values. Recall that in a table of values, it is linear when the first differences are the same, when the second differences are the same, it's a quadratic relation, and if the ratios of y values are the same, it is referred to as an exponential relation. This means that if you divide the y from the previous y, and if it is consistent throughout the whole y column, then it is an exponential relation. Let's start with question one. In question one, they ask, complete the table to determine whether the relation is linear, quadratic, or exponential. We'll start with this column. 4 minus 1, 16 minus 4, 64 minus 16, 256 minus 64. Subtracting these, we end up with 3. This gives us 12. This gives us 48. These two give us a difference of 192. These are not the same, therefore it is not linear. Let's try our second differences and subtracting now 12 minus 3 and so on. 12 minus 3, 48 minus 12, 192 minus 48. Three hundred and four. Notice that these are not consistent, so therefore it is not quadratic. Lastly, we'll try the ratios of y values column. And for this, I'll take 4 divided by 1, 16 divided by 4, 64 divided by 16, 256 divided by 64, 1024 divided by 256, and lastly, 4096 divided by 1024. And for all of these, you should end up with the number 4. So therefore, this relationship is exponential. Let's try question two. And instead of going through all of these columns, I'm going to try the ratios of y values. And if it's consistent, then we don't need to find the first and second differences. So three divided by one gives us three. Nine divided by three gives us three. That's a good sign so far. 27 divided by nine, also three. 81 divided by 27, you can bet on it, it's a three. And two, 43 divided by 81 is equal to three. And 729 divided by 243 also gives us 3. So rather than having to do the first and second differences for this table, I know that it is an exponential relationship because of the ratios of y's being all consistent. And so there you have it. That is how to determine an exponential relation from a table of values. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.